the most fashionable player in the NBA today and all time. So this is really two questions. You got the most fashionable player today and the most fashionable player all time. Today, mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook. Okay. All time, Wilt Chamberlain. Russ has a style that at times people have derided, obviously. Also, he's been very petty with his clothes, which I personally like when he wore the photographer's vest or the cupcake shirt. And was that 2016, 2017 yeah, when he was mad at Durant Yeah, uh, or not mad at Durant? No. Um, but I think that he's been he's been at so many fashion weeks and he always looks he always looks great. And he's wearing things that aren't sort of conventionally. It's not always a suit like he'll have something a little bit out there. And I appreciate that. I also think he's, it feels authentic with him. Like, I feel like sometimes when Kyle Kuzma will wear his, like, Balenciaga sweater, you're like, okay, we get it. But with Russ, it's sort of like, okay, we get it. And then Wilt, after we watched Goliath, the Wilt Chamberlain doc, um, which you can find on interviews Oddball. with the creators on previous oh. episodes of Oddball, yep. um, I just thought his outfits were unbelievable. Like, his 70s collars and the way he really was the first NBA player to embrace that way of presenting himself with avant-garde fashion and being a part of that that world. So I think um, those are pretty easy answers for me. Do you, do you Would you choose somebody else? Uh, other nominees would be Walt Clyde Frazier. Okay, yeah. Who continues to be a style Still, icon. Still, to know, this today. day. Uh, Shout out MSG behind me. Please yeah, let me come to go. opening night. Thank you, Nick's. Calvin Murphy also continues. This, this one's for you, Hollywood. Calvin Murphy, <laughs> former Houston Rocket, also dresses very outlandishly. Uh, as far as current players, uh, I would throw uh, Kelly Oubre. Oh, yeah. Kelly Oubre is fa fashions himself as a fashion guy. And then yeah. um, Devin Booker as well. Devin Booker has. Oh. Yeah. Minimalist. Maybe I should have chose Book Booker's more like that's more what I would gravitate yeah. towards. But I think Russ, right. Russ has, has real personal style. Russ wears stuff that looks like it's off the runway, right? Yeah. 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 Um, your next question, I mean, explain which team stands a better chance right now of coming out of the West, the Clippers or the Lakers? There's an old saying in <laughs> Tennessee, I think Texas. Texas. Oh, Tennessee. The Lakers, right? Okay. So I got eight words to start the part that you guys all know ends with fool me, can't fool me. Look, the Clippers, man, I don't trust you. Not your talent. I like your talent. I don't trust you. I don't trust that you'll be healthy. I don't trust that you'll be healthy at the same time. Also, I'm really not liking the lack of playmaking on the roster for the 100th year in a row, it feels like, since basically since 2019. Since 2019, every year I'm like, I kind of feel like they need someone who can play make in the half court. Russell Westbrook helps, but I think he's still kind of a flow of the game guy. I think they need, like, it's crazy. I don't think they need Chris Paul or, or Tyrese Halliburton or whatever. But, like, I look at guys like Monty Morris, uh, Tyus Jones. I mean, these guys, even, uh, even a guy like Ish Smith, to be honest with you, didn't play a lot for Denver last year, but, like, you just need someone who gets in the game and is like, I know how to run a team and mm -hmm. uh, in the half court. And I, they just, for whatever reason, they've been allergic to acquiring that kind of player. Harden would help, but again, he brings a whole host would of other he? issues. I mean, he is a good passer and a playmaker in the half court. But again, given the reporting that we saw from Ramona Shelburne about how salty he was about not having those accolades and stuff from being a great scorer, I don't know if that would change with the venue change from Philadelphia to Los Angeles. So, yeah, man, it's the Lakers. I, it's really more of an indictment on the Clippers than it is a praise of the Lakers. Okay. Well, either way, you got there. I got there after some defense. All right. Um, last question, Charlotte. Mm, which current player would you be happiest to see win their first title, and why is it Marcus Smart? <laughs> oh, I added that last part. It was just NY, but we all know what the answer is. Well, personally, Jason Tatum. But what? Professionally, not Celtics related Dame. 
I feel like I feel like I look. I feel, I, hold on before you before you exposition yourself. I feel like. You heard what I said, and like, you know what? I'm going to dig and go around and not do Marcus Smart just to be different. You were going to say Marcus Smart. Come on. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. Marcus Smart. But actually, no, my actual real answer, like, the first thing that pops into my head is is Damian Lillard. I would love to see him win a championship. He is so good. He's been an all-star so many times. He, he He's a generational talent, and it really, really bums me out when guys who are that incredible – at what they do, don't win a ring because their team won't get them help. And so now that he and Giannis are together, I, you know, I know I'm a Celtics fan, but I do really want to see Dame get a ring. Okay. I think she's lying. I have one more question for you. Who benefits the most from preseason games? Concessions, <laughs> parking, um, <laughs> TV deals that need... Merch sales. Dates. <laughs> Merch, you get it. <laughs> Money, like, like, it's not like NFL where hey, we need to figure out certain things before these games start to matter and count because we only have 17 of these regular season games. You have 82 games, dude. It's like I'm trying to find different lineups. I guarantee you, stuff that you try in the preseason is not going to resemble anything that. Like one percent of it might resemble something that you're doing in in March and April. It's just one of those things. Like, all right, when we sell season tickets, you don't sell 41, which is the home dates. You sell yeah. 44, right? Because three of them are are preseason games. It's in so the package. So, do you think do you think they should stop preseason games? Do you think they're no, any they're worth anything? No, I, I think there are guys that trying to make teams. It matters. That's to what, them, it right? could benefit them. Yeah, yeah. It, it benefits them. Guys who are. No, they're not going to make the team, but are trying to like put together a reel of themselves, which helps them in their negotiations and trying to get deals in Europe or even yeah. getting looks elsewhere in the league later in the year. Um, it allows the rookies like an idea of like oh, sort of like summer league. Yeah, well, yeah, it's like summer league for for some of those guys. For the rookies, it is an opportunity for them to realize, oh, you thought you thought like informals and and like that was oh no no. You thought summer league yeah. was what NBA basketball was like? No, no. This is what NBA basketball is like. And right when they get used to it, then we do the regular season. They're like, oh, my God. this is so, <laughs> They're playing so much harder. I'll never forget the rookie telling me, like, after playing in a regular season game, after playing pretty well in the regular in the preseason, like, oh, shit, they, they all play so much harder. I'm like, yeah, like in the preseason, no one's trying. We're all <gasps> just trying not to get hurt. So You could say that. You could say that this has been a three-month-long preseason for Oddball. We were it just has. trying not to get well, hurt. No, we did summer league and we did uh, we did informals, and yeah. we are now in preseason. And yeah. the regular season starts for us when the regular season starts in the association. And that's all the subterfuge I'm going to give you guys. Just stay tuned. There are going to be some changes. It's going to be looking different. I'm gonna do bye, 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 bye. Thanks for watching Word day. Count. What was that, Charlotte? Didn't hear I you. I said bye-bye-bye. Thanks for watching Word Count. There you go.